Hello and welcome my name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video I'm going to show you how to create collections in Shopify store. So let's get started. Go ahead and log into your Shopify store admin area and then go to products on the left. So here we have this is the landing page and go to products. And then you'll see you have all the products, inventory, transfers, and then collections. So go ahead and create, uh, click on collections. And before we get started creating collection, we must know what is collection. So collection is basically, it's a collection of products. So very similar nature of product or types of product can be put in one collection. Okay. So like this one, this is home page collection that is basically put on the landing, the home page of the store and what it does. Let's have a look. So this is a collection which is already created by default on the Shopify store. And what it does, it, it selects all the best selling products to this collection which is called home product okay so best selling these are a few options okay high highest price lowest price newest and oldest and you can also add products to a specific collection manually right so when you create a product or you let's say you already have created some product you can go to edit and then select this manual collection so these are a few options and you can also browse specific product and add to this collection from your products so you have this feature you can also search the product so collection is basically to categorize your product okay so let's have a look how you can create it so it's very simple you simply go ahead and click collections under products and then click create collection you can simply name it it says summer collection under 100 staff picks so anything it could be just be the title then we have description and the collection type is it going to be automated or you want to use manual so i would suggest if you already have lots of product and you want to create collections depending on the requirements, seasonality, go ahead and use the automated one. If, if on your system, on your store, it works. Otherwise, you go with the manual one. So you already have seen what are the options you have with the automated one. Let's have a look at how you can do it manual, manually, right? So I'm going to give a title to this collection, which is going to be let's say under 50 right 50 dollar or 100 dollar whatever and then you can write something in here so i'm just going to say blah 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 so anything that you have to say right it's a good idea to say something it's going to be good for search engines to identify your product types and then online store test theme you can also schedule availability then you can select an image which is very important i'm going to select an image here and our collection type is going to be manual then we definitely want to fix our seo title so under 50 what so let's say jeans under 54 men or women whatever and then you can write your description under 50 jeans under 50 so we want to have our okay so let's change it jeans under 50 right i'm not sure if you have any jeans uploaded to this this is not appropriate as well 
like relevant to the topic so let's go ahead and save it so i'm going to save it and this means our collection has been created but we haven't added any product right so you can see created in jeans under 50 i can go to the list of all the collection that we have and then i can add few product if i have to do manually so i'll let's see what what we have here so anything okay so i can take this one this one this one this is just to demonstrate guys i'm just taking products all right so let's say those are the products that you want to have under this collection so product updated you don't need to save it it's done automatically now let's see what we have here so now i'm going to load the store here and you can see i don't see the collection so we need to add the collections right we have the catalog okay so let's see what we have in the navigation so we definitely want to go ahead and add this collection to the navigation right so once your collection is created you have added products go to online store and in here go to navigation and under navigation uh, you want to put this collection in the main menu however you can put wherever you want in the footer if you have more than more than like footer and main menu uh, you can do whatever so here we go I'm gonna say name it like collection collection I think yeah collections is going to be good and then we already have collections right so I want to put all the collections first and then I want to add a sub menu so this is going to be jeans under 50 and now here I will have to say collections jeans I think we already have no under under 50 right And I'm going to add it and this is going to be a sub menu to collection right and then let's go ahead and save it let's see what we have here I'm going to refresh my home okay so you can see what we have here collection under 50 and these are the products right so this is how you can create collections in shopify and add to the menu as well all right so you get every all the products if if you go to catalog so these are all the products you have these uh, filters available alphabetically and then a few more filters here you can sort by and if you want to create collections specifically for a particular type of products then it's a good idea and it's a good idea for search engine optimization and also for the user it makes navigation on your store easy and quicker so that's all for this video if you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. Bye for now.